we're having our first literacy and numeracy uh, combined academy here at the Columbus Metropolitan Library. What we're doing today is we're having our students measure weight, height, and circumference of an apple or a pumpkin, but they have to guess first. So we're trying to see what their estimation skills are like, what their measuring skills are like, and to have some fun with it, they're also comparing to each other to see whose was bigger and heavier and who got the best guess. You want to see how much yours weighs? Go ahead, put yours right on here. Let's see what it says. What's it say? 5.6? So that's in ounces, okay? Not a bad guess either. One of the activities that we have today is a serial activity. And so we're trying to um, have our parents realize that there are many literacy opportunities that they can engage in at home. Last year our focus really was on literacy and so we wanted to add in the math component so that we can make sure that students are um, progressing and accelerating in both of those areas. When you read books to your children, whether it's your students or it's your own children at home, it's important to engage them in the story. So to take the time to stop, ask them questions, have them point things out to you in the story, it really helps to build those early literacy skills, those early language skills. And it also helps students to enjoy the book more and helps you to have a conversation with your kids. And it just makes it all around more fun for everybody. But I came down here just so I could see what I can do to help my kindergartner to be successful so that he can go to Ohio State or whatever school he wants to go to and to prepare him for the third grade reading test. I'm very, very pleased with what Columbus City Schools is doing. I believe in them. Stayed in the district. I got two kids that graduated from Columbus City Schools, so I'm really glad. I'm really glad. So. Well, it's a lot of information out here. Um, things that I can do at home as far as like math, uh, programs, uh, different books I could read, not just for my kindergarten, but even for my two-year-old. There's a program over here at Columbus Metropolitan Library said that they got me signed up where they can come out to my house once a month to try to help my daughter be ready for kindergarten so that when she gets there, she already know what sounds that the A make, what sound does the Z make. So I'm already registered. She said it takes about a month. Of, you know, I can wait a month because I didn't know anything about the program. So um, I'm looking forward to that. I'm on a wait list. I didn't already sign my name. <laughs> I'm excited. To keep doing this all school year is to keep it relevant throughout the year. I'm making sure that um, we constantly offer those opportunities for parents to intervene with kids at home so the kids can be getting help both at school and home. Those parents that came out today have made such a strong commitment to their child's education and that's the first step in knowing that there's that commitment not only with Columbus City Schools but home and the library. That's going to be the first big key to kids' success.